welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back guys at the end of this video you should know how to draw uh, this two-dimensional object in AutoCAD of course the first thing to do would be to analyze drawing to determine exactly how to approach it based on this shape the overall length is 75 and the width is 40. The edge of the drawing has four chamfers and each chamfer is 10 millimeters. It also has a cutout, a groove in here, which has a radius of five at all four ends. To get started, the first thing to do is to change to our dimension layer. And of course, I'm assuming that you you set up all the, you uh you you set up your, your basic drawing space and again the five the seven things that you need to set up for this are your drawing template and uh for drawing template we go big a new new a card iso or if you're using a custom template then open or if you're using sheet we click from that and once you have done that the next thing is to turn turn off your grid to turn off your grid you basically toggle between here once you have done that the third thing to set up is your unit your unit should always be in millimeters after your, your unit is your, your your limit your drawing limit and your drawing limit for plane and solid geometry is it is important to remember that once that limit is set you will also need to to bring that limit onto the screen to bring that limit onto the screen you must type z enter a enter once that is done you'll also need to set up your layers and your dimension style here is a standard dimension style that you could use um, these are the five things that you must set up each time you set up your dimension underline we only change two things extend beyond dimension line this can be two offset from origin this can be three th uh, between two up to six for our size this can be between three from three up to even ten or eight text height again this range is from three to up to 15. offset from dimension line this is typically two or three and our precision is typically zero as we do not need any decimal places for this drawing this drawing is relatively small so i would go for the lower range dimension setting on the issue of layers these are the five basic layers that you are to set up five basic layers and uh outline construction line text dimension and you might want center line or hidden detail line lines depending on what you want now you must also set up these four parts you must name your layer you must choose, you must choose a color you must choose an appropriate line weight and also the line type in most cases the line type will be kind of continuous for center line we would use a different type of line and also for hidden detail you would use a different type of line with that being said let's get into the drawing this drawing shouldn't take us more than five minutes to draw five or six minutes to draw uh, let's get started now that I'm in my construction layer I can activate rectangle R E C enter and this has a chamfer edge so i will be choosing chamfer left click here it will then ask me to specify the first chamfer distance 
that is the distance from here to here for a chamfer distance in this case this is 10 so I'll type 10 enter and it will then ask you to specify the second chamfer distance the second chamfer distance is the distance here on this side again that's also 10 press enter to accept that now that I have the chamfer has been set I can now go ahead and draw I would then left click drag enter my horizontal distance of 75 75 comma 40 for 40 and that is done So again, to set up your chamfer, once the command is active, that's the first thing. Once you engage, once you click on rectangle, that those are among the first option: chamfer, fill, uh, chamfer fillet width and elevation. So click that. For that, that being said, this is out of the way. Quick and fast. Now, the next step is to draw this. This can be drawn using uh, about six or seven different ways. Um, for this, I'll be using line. So I'll draw the line. L for line, enter. And uh, the length of this is 55. So I left click here, turn on author, go 55, five, enter, then up. 20 two, zero, enter enter the 20 is from center to center so then left click here drag release it right there left click there that's done now for this i could offset each one of these uh by five i could do that so offset or I could use multi-line ML for multi-line enter I would then set justification to zero go across the scale set my scale to five enter I would then left click here left click there that's done space bar to reactivate left click here left click there that's done I could then delete these as I no longer need those. I will then I must explode. So I left click on both, then type X for explode, enter. My next step is to use fillet to draw to, to generate the semicircles. F for fillet, enter. Left click, left click, that is done. Space bar, left click left click that is done space bar multiple left click left click left click left click that's done my next step is to trim to trim the inside for that tr enter enter left click drag left click drag and that is done Oh, I think I use a smaller, smaller distance for the multi-line. I should have used uh, 10 instead of 5. Oh, but I will, I will let it stay for now. I let it stay for now. Um, or probably I should change. Mm, I, I, I let it stay for now. So my next step is to move this into the join left click here left click there m for move enter i will be choosing the middle of these two points as my base point well i think i've deleted the center lines too early but nonetheless it can still work so so uh it's asking me to specify the base point i want the base point to be the middle of this center and this center 
So I'll type middle of two point or M2P, enter. I'll then left click here, left click there, and the center is now established. And then I want to paste it in the middle or the middle is already generated. Left click there, and that is done. Yep, that is done. So if I want, I could offset these by two by um 2.5, 2.5, but I like to stay for them. The bottom line is that we understand the principle. That's what matters the most. So remember, for multi-line, you must stay the full distance right across. I didn't do that. And of course, the chain to change um to the correct line weight thickness or outline. Highlight that. Go down to outline. And that is it. So I will not be wasting any time to dimension this. We pretty much should know what to dimension this by now.